So it's been quite a while since I've last posted a video, I think about six months now, and I'm so sorry that this happened. So I think a couple of videos before I was gone I actually said, I'm not going to disappear, I'm just posting a bit erratically at the moment. But if I'm not back next week, just know that I haven't like disappeared, I am coming back and then I disappeared. So, um, hmm, I'm terribly sorry about that, that was not intentional at all. And there's a lot of reasons why I left and I guess I'm just going to kind of talk about them with you today and also kind of fill you in on what I've been doing and where I've been and kind of just life in general. So I hope that's cool with you guys. I just really want to post this video before continuing to post more new ones just for context and stuff. So one thing I want to mention is that as you can see we're currently in the new studio. I know you guys have kind of seen a few peeks at it before. This is going to be where I'm hopefully going to be filming stuff from now on. So it's going to be in this chair, in this spot, in this room. Which I'm really happy about because filming in my bedroom was a little bit difficult and I just really feel like this is the place that I'm the most productive and the most creative so I naturally want to make videos in here specifically. I kind of want to give you guys a little introduction to the studio in this video but I'm gonna do that a little bit later on after I've explained myself more because then we can kind of get into the more fun stuff. So the first thing I want to say about why I've been away is purely because of technology. I have been having problems with all of my devices over the past, well, I guess the past year almost. I stopped posting on Instagram as of last October because I was having problems with Instagram on my phone. So I was already having issues with not being able to view my inbox and my messages, which is why I haven't been very communicative on Instagram. The other part is that for some reason Instagram will not let me upload anything at all, like photos or videos, just anything. I had that first on my phone, so then I switched to posting stuff with my iPad, and then my iPad completely shat itself, it just stopped turning on. It was fairly old, so that's probably why. I currently have like this little iPhone 4, which is probably part of why Instagram stopped working because it's such an old phone. But I am going to be switching to a new one soon. So that's why I haven't been on Instagram, but I will be coming back to it hopefully soon. Now for the most obvious one, which is what I really should have talked about first, and that's YouTube. So my laptop is maybe like seven years old, I want to say. And it's a good laptop, you know, it still kind of does what I need to, but it's just getting really slow, it freezes and crashes all the time, and it randomly thinks that it's deleted video files when it actually hasn't, but it means that I can't continue on with editing something because it says that the file clip is missing, even though it's not, it's still on the computer, so I don't know, but it thinks it's deleted, so that's been a really, really frustrating thing for me. I'm gonna wait until I get my new laptop, which is actually going to be really soon, like within the next month or two, I'm hoping. So that will be good. Hopefully I'll be able to get this video up before then, if I can just clear some more stuff on my laptop, maybe that will help. I'm really, really hoping to get a new camera soon as well, because even though I love this one, it's like been really great. It is not ideal for doing videos. I've had a few people point this out to me, and I notice it as well, and it really bothers me, but whenever I use this camera to film, you can always hear like this fuzzy noise in the background, and I don't know how to get rid of it. I'm not that skilled at knowing how to do that, so that's actually part of why I put music in my videos, is to kind of distract a bit from the fuzzy sound. Yeah, so that's, that's one thing that annoys me, and I could get an external microphone, but I really just want a more vlog-friendly camera because using a DSLR, even though it can look cool sometimes, it's really awkward. So like doing the whole setup and everything is just difficult. So I'm going to be getting a more like vlog-friendly camera that's also hopefully high quality and everything still. I'm hoping to get that within the next few months, I guess. That's, yeah, fingers crossed that's what I'm hoping. But I'll still be using this one for now until that can happen. So technology aside, the <laughs> other really big main thing that has stopped me from coming back, which is probably really obvious, but it is this whole pandemic, COVID-19 shit. I just... One of my biggest fears for like years has always been 
pandemics and so when this first started happening and everyone was like really scared and not really knowing what's going on you're seeing all these pictures and videos on the news constantly of people dying in hospitals or having like ventilators and just being in pain it was really scary i'm sure you can relate to that i think everyone was freaking out but i definitely really lost my shit over that <laughs> and i mean i'm doing fine now so don't worry i guess i've adapted the best that i can at this point but it was like a really scary time i think it to be honest it really sunk in when i went to the shops which i haven't done in a very long time and they'd completely run out of hand sanitizer and I couldn't find any anywhere at all and that was like honestly the tipping point for me because I always have hand sanitizer with me it's just such a big adjustment to make I kind of just had to I don't know take care of my mental health a bit and just try to focus on doing things that I enjoy but that don't involve too much pressure because even though I love YouTube and making videos, there is a bit of pressure with it, with like having a schedule and editing, getting things up in a certain time, answering all the comments, like all that stuff. Even though I love it, there is some pressure to it and that much pressure at the time, I couldn't deal with that. So yeah, just being honest with you guys. Well, I guess one more thing was that a little while ago, I decided that I was about ready to come back and make a new video again. And then the awful awful situation in America with George Floyd happened and there was all of the Black Lives Matter stuff going on. It just felt like with something that big going on and then me just coming back and saying hi I'm back I'm just talking about myself and my life and my little hobbies and stuff like it just I don't know it just didn't feel right to me and it didn't feel appropriate and so I left it for a bit longer and I think I'm glad that I did to be honest I just don't think I would have felt right coming back during that time. I hope that made sense. And obviously there's still a lot of serious crazy stuff going on right now like the explosions in Lebanon and obviously COVID is still going on. There's still the Black Lives Matter protests happening like oh my god all of 2020 as, as everyone has been saying it's just the year of the apocalypse or something. It's just shit happening everywhere all the time. So I really hope wherever you are right now and whatever's going on in your life that you're staying safe and you're okay and you're taking care of yourself and that you're just being really kind to yourself during these times because uh, it's a lot for everyone to deal with. I think everyone's going through stuff right now with everything going on it's impossible not to be having a bit of a hard time so yeah, I really hope you guys are going okay at the moment and I've really missed you so it's nice to be back and it's nice to be talking to you again. So I think now I'll start moving into the more fun stuff. I kind of leeway into this by saying that this is another reason that I was away for a while which is my studio. So I'm a ridiculous massive perfectionist and basically a big part of why I didn't want to come back yet was because my studio wasn't ready and I wanted to film in my studio from now on no exceptions I did not want to go back to filming in the bedroom so I just waited which I don't think I should have done I think you know filming in the bedroom was probably better than not filming anything I know this video is getting a bit long but I do want to just give you like a little introduction to the studio since this is where we'll be hanging out from now on I'll give you guys a little kind of unofficial tour of it in this video so you can kind of see everything it isn't exactly how I want it just yet like it's really close now and I'm very happy with it but there's still a few things that I need to do yeah but basically this used to be a garage and it was also a shop once as well which is kind of cool but um when we moved in here this was a garage so I think someone kept their motorbikes in here I think is a story so there was still like concrete floors and there were like gross grease marks everywhere and there's even tire marks on the ceiling like how does that even get up there? It must have been like how they stored their bikes or something maybe? I don't know. But anyway, so we've had it like repainted. I wanted it to kind of feel a bit like a museum so that's why I chose the colour that I did for the walls. I think it's called Tibetan Tea, the colour. So that's cool. I also have one of my lovely Victorian chairs in here. I actually have two of these. I have one in the main lounge room and then one here because this is like my little tiny lounge room in a way. <laughs> A kitchen area going on back there as well which I'll show you so it's all kind of coming together really nicely and it's really exciting having like 
my own space and my own everything. It feels more independent and stuff. So I guess now I'll give you the little tour um, so you can kind of see everything and then I'll do a real proper more lengthy tour that has its own video another time when I have everything exactly as I want it. You'll be waiting a little bit but until then I hope that this mini tour will suffice. Let's go. So here is a little overview of my studio. So obviously that's where I was just sitting. That's my little footrest. I have a little coffee table. This is only temporary because I don't like it very much. This is my little shelf that you've probably seen before but I've got lots of books on it and art things. All of that stuff I still need to sort out. These are all of my furs. I've got this wall with lots of stuff, mostly art stuff and botanical stuff. And then I got my TV and my Xbox there, but I need to get a proper thing for it all to sit on because it's just like a little coffee table and it's not really ideal. It's my desk. It's a bit messy at the moment because I just basically live there. I sit there every day. So all of that, that is all the knitting that I've been doing, or actually just some of it. I am currently making a blanket for myself to go, I think, on my bed. It was going to be just a lap blanket, but I think I want it on my bed. So I've got all of those and then there's a bunch more in there. So I've been doing that, but I've run out of this particular yarn. So I had to stop until I get some more. So I've been doing so much sewing lately. So I've got a bunch of sewing projects and like upcycle doll stuff going on. I got these cool cube shelves to go underneath my desk so it's not such a mess. And I have some more storage space. So got all of that going on and then I still have somewhere to put my feet. I just got a lamp and some drawers over here. This corner is a mess. I still need to work on all of this but I'm gonna hopefully put my microwave, my toaster and my blender on here because it's got this and then that shelf down there so everything you see here including those disgusting tissues which I did not use on my nose so don't worry but this will all not be here anymore. That will all be gone. Oh and look I can put my little utensils here. It's the best. This is my fridge. It's called Brenton. Long story, but it's named after a news reporter because I got this on the same day as his birthday and they mentioned it on the news. So I'm like, oh, I'll call my fridge Brenton. So there you go. I'm going to open it for you real quick. Oh, so <laughs> it is extremely full right now because I just did my shopping yesterday. I get it delivered and I shop for the fortnight rather than for the week. So that's why I've got so so much stuff in here right now. Also a lot of bread. I did not mean to get that much bread. I didn't realize that I had that still so I bought a new loaf and I still have to get through that loaf so I'm gonna be eating a lot of toast this week. <laughs> this is really full as well. It's only a little freezer but it's just got a shit ton of frozen fruit and vegetables because most of the fruit that I eat is frozen so I've got mangoes and berries and stuff and uh, a little bit of mock meat in there somewhere. That is Brenton, the fridge up there. I got my pressure cooker, or is it slow cooker? What's it say? Oh, it's a slow cooker. I always get that mixed up. Oh, and look at this. This has all my teapots on it, and I love it so much. It is my little kitchen cupboard. Oh, and that is my new kettle. I got that the other day. I bought it online, and I didn't realize that it's made of plastic, but I checked online and it's BPA free and stuff, so I'm just gonna keep it. Shit ton of bananas, cause we all know vegans only eat lettuce and bananas, so that's why I got so many. <laughs> Snacks, tissues and sanitizer and stuff. I keep my mugs in there, but I really need to rearrange cause it's getting messy. More teapots and stuff. And then in there, I keep my tea and coffee. So I got a bunch of loose tea bags in that cauldron. I got some chai latte, got some coffee back there, more coffee and tea, plant-based Milo, which I'm so excited about still. It's been out for months and I'm still so excited about it because one thing I really missed since going vegan was Milo and now they got plant-based Milo and I'm just over the moon about it. So <laughs> it gets pride of place there. And I got another window here, which is really cool. So I always have a lot of light in this room and it's really nice. This is a mess. <laughs> I have this which is actually a mini dishwasher, which is so cool. So I need to set that up soon to try it out because I actually, I think I only got it like a week or two ago, but I still haven't tried it out yet. So I will be doing that very soon. And behind that, I have all of my mycological specimens, my mushroom stuff. And over here is my oddities shelves. 
I still have that police shirt and with all the stuff going on at the moment I actually feel kind of weird about having it so I don't know if that'll stay there or not I'm just I'm not sure about it right now but it's still there for the moment that is the studio this is such a small short rushed tour but I hope that it's I don't know it's something for now oh, don't look at that I'll pretend that it's not there <laughs> Okay, let's get back. <laughs> so that was a little tour. Hope you like it. I'm very excited about everything. I just feel like I can hang out with you guys properly here. I don't know, maybe it's the chair. <laughs> so I guess lastly I just want to mention upcoming videos. So I haven't been able to film as many nature vlogs as I would like to this year because we're coming up to the end of winter now, so I have one that I've filmed that I've nearly finished editing. That should hopefully be up soon after this one. I also have a, like, a really tiny mini vlog of when I went to the forest with my mum a few months ago. It's only like probably two minutes long I think, but I thought I'd just include that one at the end of this video because I'm not like talking or anything in it. Just kind of see trees and mushrooms and stuff. Like it's nice to watch. I think it's relaxing but it's not really like my usual vlogs I guess. And I also just want to like share a little piece of what I've been up to with you guys. One other video that I want to make and upload soon is an extremely belated birthday haul because I had my stuff that I got for my birthday saved in a pile in my room all this time and I don't want to have had it sitting there for nothing. I still really want to film that birthday haul so I've got to do that before the year is over. Hopefully before the month is over, but we'll see. So yeah, you're going to be getting a birthday haul. It is the most late one that I've ever done. I should just quickly mention, I will probably not be doing weekly uploads again for quite a while. I just kind of want to do things as they come. It's not going to be any specific schedule for a long time probably, but I'll still upload more often than I was before, which was not at all. So last thing that I want to say is just a big thank you to all of my subscribers because I've been getting some new ones coming along even though I haven't been posting so welcome aboard to you guys and also thank you to the people that have still stuck around even though I do these random breaks without telling anyone and stuff I don't know this is like the second or third time I've done this and it needs to stop that is all that was a lot of information and thank you for sitting through it all I know this was a really long video and I don't like making my videos too long because I just worry about boring people. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time, which will be very soon.